guys! So I hope you guys enjoyed my trip along with me. I'm just gonna do a little haul for you guys. Some things you may have already seen if you watched the previous videos. And just to point out, this is one of the shirts that Sharla got for me. I love it. I'm actually surprised it fit. She is too. Because <laughs> it, when she ordered it, she thought it looked a lot smaller than it was. But it, it's a little snug. Like, it would be nice if it was a little looser. But it's actually really nice. The first day there, I didn't film. But we went to Hongdae. I didn't buy anything. But we did try out this, like, balloon dart game where you have to, like, pop the balloons. And we kind of halved the turns. So we had eight tries and we split it four and four, but we won this, which is so cute. Like we had, we got to choose and I had no idea what I wanted to choose. And since this one is a Pokemon, but it's not an official one, it's some generic brand, I guess. And of course the quality is not very good. There's like threads sticking out, but it was just so cute. And I love dogs, so I just had to go with this one. So we won this. And that was exciting, and Sharla said I could have it since it, it would be like memories of Korea. So she let me choose, and I got to keep it. For the second day, we just kind of went around a mall. I got something I've been wanting for a while, which is the last version for the Love Yourself tier, the R1. I don't remember if I've mentioned before, but Sharla got two of them for me. And they were missing the R, so she wasn't able to get that for me. But luckily they had it when we looked. So I now have the complete collection. And I will be posting and unboxing. Even though I've done for one already, now that I have the complete set, I want to open these up with you guys, see what photo cards I have, and kind of like glance through the photo book. But along with this, surprisingly they still had posters. And that was like the most exciting part ever. When she got those, there were posters then too, so I have all the posters now, which is even more exciting. Usually, because I buy one album first and buy the others later, I don't usually get the promotional posters, but this time I did. So this is for the Y. This one is for O. And the last one... R. And if you've seen my tier unboxing video, you would know that I already have you. But I have the full collection now. I'm so excited. I can't wait to open up the albums with you guys. We actually went to the supermarket and I bought these. Which I, I've never tried these yet. Sharla said they're really good so she convinced me to get two of these. So hopefully I like these. Another one is my favorite one. Like, I bought this every single time I went there. But it's pretty much just tofu tofu kimchi chige, which is like a tofu kimchi soup. So this is my favorite. I actually should have bought more of this. And they're just like instant food. You just warm them up and they're done. So they're really simple. You can just follow like the pictures on the back. You don't even have to understand the Korean really. But since they're easy to make, I love getting these. On the next day, I didn't plan on it being turned into like a BT21, BTS kind of shopping day, but that's basically how it turned out. And that's pretty much all I ended up buying in Myeongdong. But I kind of just went there just to look around. I did want to look at the line store and I did want to go for like many heel and stuff. But it just so happened that the line store had BT21 stuff. I guess they finally decided to make it permanent, which is so exciting. There was no lines, nothing, so I'm assuming it's been permanent for a while now. I had to hold myself back and not spend too much money. And I'm just hoping that I'll get to go to the BT21 store again and get some of the things I couldn't get. But one thing I love about shopping there is you do get BT21 bags. My bag was Cookie and Koya. And it's a bit damaged here and there, but I'm definitely keeping this just because it's so cute. I did show you the haul for this already, so some of the items I'm just gonna like breeze through. So I have the socks, the Chimmy and RJ for the long socks with the white and black on the back. And the Hmong, I guess, ankle socks? I feel like they're lower than ankles, but I got just Hmong for this one. 
hopefully someday I'll get the others as well. But for now, that's all I bought. And two more of the tapes. Mainly because I kind of forgot what I bought and I knew I didn't have these two. If not, I probably would have bought the last two that I need. But they actually didn't have it all. I think they only had five of them, maybe six. I know for sure they didn't have all seven because I didn't see Chimmy there. But I do have Chimmy, so that wasn't a problem. Here's the hair tie. To be honest, I would like it just wearing like this as well. It's cute. And I'm not good with styling my hair, so it's probably just going to be a normal ponytail. But whatever, however I do style it, it's going to be just like this. So if I ever do wear it, I'll make sure to show you guys. But you can always style your hair however you want and have a little mong on your head. There's also the bottle, which actually I've been using. I used it when I went to the airport just so I don't have to buy water. They have water fountains everywhere, so I just kept refilling it as I wanted water. But this, there's this on the outside for the sleeve and then in the inside. So I've said it before, but the Mong character was just so cute on this. I couldn't pass up on it. I just really had to get it. Sadly, that meant I couldn't get Chimmy. I debated really long between Chimmy and Mong. The Chimmy one was really cute too, but the yellow is what kind of put me off on it. And I do have almost everything Chimmy, so sometimes a little variety would be nice. But the thing I'm most excited about was the laptop case. Like, oh my god, I didn't even know this existed until I saw it there. I've been wanting a laptop case for like ever. But what I didn't expect about this was it's fuzzy. <laughs> I knew this wasn't fuzzy. This is just like the usual like cushion kind of thing. But Chimmy is fuzzy. Oh my god. It's so cute. It's so soft. Oh. And of course inside is just plain. There's like a little cushion thing in here. But I'm just really happy I have a Chimmy laptop case now. And I went to Mediheal. And surprisingly they still had the BTS face mask. These ones right here. But since I already have them, I didn't go and get it because I don't need the photo cards again. I did just go with like individual ones and actually I really like the tea tree one which is the green one right here. It's not too heavy but it's still really nice. I feel like you could actually use these every couple days or something. And it's supposed to be really good for your pores. And because I like this one so much and I can actually use this one regularly, I did buy two. And it's really cheap. It was on sale and one sheet is actually only one dollar so each box came out to ten dollars so for 20 sheets it came up to twenty dollars and if i bought the bts set ones it was twenty five dollars for one box that had ten inside and it's five and five of two different types so yeah i just went ahead with these also one of my favorite ones is the moisturizing one this was also in the BTS one, but I've actually tried this before that as well. And this one's a little more on the heavier side and can be a little bit sticky, but I feel like this one's good to use like every so often. Maybe you can like rotate with the tea tree one. If you need a lot of moisture, you might be able to use this one regularly. But for me, I have kind of like an oily combination skin, so I can't really use this one all the time. So I only got one box of this. And on top of that, I thought I'd try some new things as well. So I got some individual ones. And just trying it once doesn't really tell you like the difference of what it's like, what it does for you. So I bought a couple of each. And like I have a collagen one, vitamin, and one of the black masks. This is different from the one that comes in the BTS one. The BTS one was a whitening one, but I don't really need whitening. So I went with the poor one. So hopefully this one will work. But I'm going to give this one a shot. And if you haven't seen these yet, I didn't even know these existed. And I'm so glad that I saw them. But these are Mediheal as well. They have BT21 stuff, which is exciting. The only difference with this, it's not a full face mask. And I haven't opened this yet. So I don't know what it's like inside. I think this is what each one looks like. I think this is a bookmark. It comes with a bookmark. That's cute. I'm not quite sure what this is. If it's supposed to be like just a picture to decorate or something. 
on the back of here, I noticed it kind of has like this cutout here. So I think that cutout might be to like make a stand for this if you want to like decorate it like a picture kind of thing. I think that's what it is. I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong if you know what that is. It does come with four. I'm assuming they look like these, not these. Because this one has more than six. There's only six on each sheet. Yeah, there's only six on each sheet. So this one is what it is because that's what's on here. And I will probably try this in a video one day, but I'm not going to be trying it on right now. So I actually have a lot more stuff to go. Hopefully you guys aren't getting bored yet. So I've shown this as well in a previous video, but I have the chimney pajamas and I'm really excited for this. I'm a little worried about the pants because the pants seems a bit small, but it might be okay. I'm going to go ahead and try this on later and do like a little tryout for you guys. I also got a bunch of my favorite cushion. So it's the Moonshot cushion. I actually wanted another case because sometimes I'll use the old uh, the old container and put liquid foundation in there if I feel like using a liquid foundation instead. But I really like applying it with the cushion. So here it is. Same as before. The back looks a little different. So I don't know if they changed the formula or anything. But new case. And this comes with one cushion in it already. So that's one right here. And I bought three refills. I was only going to buy two more so that I'd have the total of three. But they, apparently they had a discount going on. If you spend so many, um, one, you get 20% off. So she told me if I spent 18000 more that I'd get 20% off. So I was like, okay, why not? I got one more refill. So I have three, and with the 20% off, it was only a couple dollars more than it was going to originally be. So really, for that extra one, I only paid like two bucks or something. So this will last me a while. Usually I can make one cushion last me about three months, depending on how much I use it. And with that, they gave lots of samples. So there's sunscreen, a mask, which I've never tried before. I've used the sunscreen before. And it's nice, but it, it does make your face a little shiny. So if you don't like the shiny, you may not like it. And there is cream paint. So it says you can use it for lips or cheeks. And that's a really nice pink. Might be a little too bright for me, but I may give that a try out. I'm usually not too good with bright colors because I feel like it stands out too much. But since it's a sample, why not try it, right? So I have only a couple more things left other than the clothes that I've put aside. But I went to another supermarket and I bought more of these. I actually really like these spicy noodles and I can pretty much eat it regularly. If I feel like I want it a little less spicy, I kind of water it down a bit. The best thing about this, it was five plus one. So I got one for free and it was only four dollars maybe. So really good deal. I got more. And apparently they have a new one now. And isn't it just the cutest thing? It's a Cacao Talk character. But it's cute. And this is actually a Carbonero flavored one. So we'll see if it's actually spicy or if it's good or what. I thought I'd try that. I'll do a video on this as well. Not sure when that's going to be. It might be quite a while. But I'll definitely try this with you guys. I really like the long spoons that they use in Korea. If you don't know, their spoons are like crazy long. But because I love their spoons, I ended up buying spoon and chopstick sets. And it's really cute because like, I don't know if you can see it, but there's sakura on here. There's cherry blossoms. So even more so, I just fell in love with this as soon as I saw it and I just had to get it. And last thing, you may have seen it already, but I have taken it out of the box so now you can see it more properly. I have a cookie plushie doll and it's so cute like it's pretty heavy like not heavy but for a plush doll it's a bit on the heavier side and it's so soft the fuzzy is soft and it's a little like squishy but it's so cute eventually I'm hoping to get all so like these are fuzzy the Chimmy one wasn't fuzzy. That's kind of why I chose someone else instead of Chimmy. Of course, I love Chimmy, but the cookie doll 
was just calling me. So I have cookie. So I'm gonna go ahead and try on the clothes for you guys now. For the BTS ones, I'm actually not gonna try them on, but I'll probably be wearing them in videos every so often, so you'll be seeing some BTS shirts. Okay, so I know I said I'm gonna try on clothes, but some of them are just way too hot to try on right now, and I don't quite think I need to try it on. The only one I'm gonna try on for you guys is the pajamas, but other than that, I'm just gonna show you what I bought. So these clothes are from the 8 second store. Some of them are guys clothes. I think only one of them is women's. But usually the women's one is a lot harder to find your size. And the, men one, the men's one usually look just as good. So I ended up buying some men's clothes. But I'm pretty sure you won't even know the difference. The first one I have is this. It's just a simple green striped top. I have no green striped tops, but I do have a lot of striped clothes. So the green is something different at least. I'm trying to stay away from stripes. I don't know why, I just always head straight for the stripes. I think just because they're so simple, but yet like it's a design. But there's like this cute little monster thing on it. And it, I guess it's like an 8 second monster thing. Because this is 8 mon and pals. But that's really cute. And the rest of the things I got are actually more for like fall, winter, maybe spring. But I could always use those for work and for going out. So I got some things. They were all on sale. That's mainly the reason why I got them. And it's just a vest. And I can wear like a collared shirt or something underneath. And I have this pink top. It's a little on the thin side. But seems to be pretty warm as well. And it's just pink. I don't buy too much pink stuff, but everybody tells me I match in pink. So I went ahead and got some pink this time. And the last thing I got was this hoodie. I don't wear hoodies too often other than at home, like when I go to sleep during the winter and stuff because it's so cold. But I got this one. And this was an interesting color. I feel like it's not too bad. The only other choice in my size was black and I always wear like black and stuff so I went for a different color and it's like a high neck one too so it's probably pretty warm but yeah just a simple sweater they're all really simple and that's it for the clothes I bought so I'm gonna go ahead and try on the pajamas now and I'm gonna show you what they look like so I hope you guys can kind of see it it's actually really nice like it's maybe a little snugger than I would like for sleeping clothes but it's really nice. It's still loose. And it's just so cute. Like, oh my god, isn't that cute? And guess what? The pants fit. Like, I'm not going to show you all because you can see my stomach. But it does fit. You can see it's a bit snug. But it fits a little snug on the thighs. But still not bad. It's not like almost about to rip kind of snug. So I'm actually really, really happy and surprised. I thought it wasn't going to fit like my stomach area. If anything, it just needs to stretch out just a little bit. But it does fit. I'm so excited. And if you look even lower, you can see that like it's the perfect length too. Which I love because every time I buy my size for pajama pants, they're always too long and like dragging on the ground. But these are perfect. I don't think I could have found a more perfect pajama. I'm just like in love with this thing. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. I hope you guys enjoyed my haul and got to see all the like awesome things I bought. I'm really excited for everything. And I really can't wait to go back to Korea again. But I did my shopping this time, bought lots of stuff. Stuff that I really love and I can use all the time. Sleeping clothes, more clothes, laptop case. Like I feel like I didn't waste any money, buy useless things. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye!